Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Oh, I was looking at my heads-up display there. I've got the, the augmented reality in my glasses. I've always dreamed of that, really. Uh, being able to look up in the uh, upper left corner and see the time, or look up there and see the weather, or well, I know it's in Seattle, it's raining. It's, I don't need to see the weather, I can, I can hear it you know, outside if you can't hear the pitter-patter of the raindrops hitting the side of our house. Um, you may have caught the uh, Project Glass that uh, you know, came out of Google's labs. In fact, uh, one individual, not a part of Google, built a prototype, a working prototype, that would work similarly to how Google presented uh, Google Glass. Granted, what the way that Google presented it, they made it look all nice and fancy and clean and easy, and it's not even a prototype. I mean, they have a working prototype, but it w looks nothing like what they put out there in terms of marketing spin. Uh, it'll be interesting, and I cannot wait to see a heads-up display in glasses, especially prescription glasses, because that's what I wear. I have no problem uh, with glasses at all. Uh, I uh, have been looking into uh, picking up a, a new vehicle for myself, and some of these new vehicles have heads-up display for the speed of the vehicle right there on the dashboard that only the driver can see. That's so cool. That's like the future, man. That's all. Everything is going into glass. We're surrounded by glass anyway. Uh, I've seen uh, working models of uh, computing environments inside of glass panes. This isn't uh, smoke and mirrors. It is absolute. Uh, you know, we've talked about it before, the idea of cyborgs, humans and machines merging. Uh, and we've posted a story, you know, talking about Google's Project Glass and asking the question, are humans and machines Merging. How quickly are we there? How quickly will we be there if we're not there yet, and according to uh, your opinion? We've outlined the story in the, the link that we posted in the description. Um, I, I'm a huge fan of, of making technology more pervasive uh, and including in glasses the ability to record video, audio, uh, you know, streaming in the internet, uh, and having everything I might need here. Uh, I mean, we're kind of there anyway with one of these things. I mean, imagine embedding those types of powerful features inside your glasses where I think we're going to be held back is uh, specifically with battery life because, uh, you know, our smartphones today take tremendous batteries and they still don't last all day. Granted, they have to power a full-on screen, so there would be different power requirements for uh, powered glasses. But uh, I will be one that if, uh, if it looks good and it runs well enough, uh, to possibly get a pair of uh, Google's uh, Project Glass if they make it available in prescriptions. I, I will absolutely do that. I'm all for uh, augmented reality and connected eyewear uh, and uh, this type of technology. It's getting to the point now where I find it very difficult to function without technology now that I've had so much access to it, You know, going back to getting a new car. I don't think I could get an, a, another car, I, I lease vehicles every three years. So it's not like I get a new car all the time. I, I trade in the lease or give in the lease and, and then and I, I release a new one. Uh, you know, I've got a navigation system built into the car. It's difficult to live without that. I mean, oh, you could use your phone. It doesn't really work the same way. I've got Bluetooth built into the car. It's difficult to live without that. Uh, the number one feature I find it difficult to live without now that I've been surrounded by it when I need it is the uh, the cruise control where it automatically detects when there's a vehicle in front of you and adjusts the speed accordingly. Uh, it's a wonderful feature, my favorite feature in, in a vehicle. And so... When you are spoiled by technology, you, you come to realize that we are increasingly becoming reliant on machines. And as technology continues to be more pervasive, as in it's available in our eyewear and uh, you know it's always on us, um, it, the, the line between man and machine may really, truly merge at some point. Maybe not in our lifetime. Maybe a thousand years from now, we will be completely inseparable. Uh, the future of humanity may very well be in technology.